Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Pharaoh's Vault. I am the Anomaly Will Pharaoh, and I have these lovely ladies here with me today, Roxy, Tocahondas, and Ivana, the ladies of the Cannabis Squad. You've seen them on All Deaf. You've seen them uh, cuss me out for uh, basically torturing mm -hmm. on and recording it. That, that, is, that is their take on me. That is their take on me. I am a torturer. But hey, this is not that show. This is a very more lighthearted show where y'all get to relax. Y'all can smoke. You can eat. As you can see, Roxy is enjoying her cereal. This is where we talk about movies. I'm sure all of y'all are a fan of movies. And so for those that don't know, I have a very extensive vault of movies. I love movies. I've been collecting movies since probably like 16. So the name of this game is I am going to pull up a movie. If you all have seen it, we're going to talk about it, reminisce about it, good, the bad, the ugly, so on and so forth. But if someone in here has never seen the movies that I have selected to show you today, I am going to have to pitch them as if it was a movie that we want to put in production for you to see. And based off of my pitch, if you uh, like it, you'll watch it. If not, not going to watch it. But it has to be solely based off of how I pitch it to you. So we're going to go ahead and just start with the first one. I'm pretty sure a lot of people have seen this movie. Or maybe not. I'm pretty sure Roxy has seen this movie. You know if it's something nerdy, I've seen it. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Have y'all seen the same? Oh, yes, I've seen this. There we go. See? And it looks like everyone has. I've seen the, the her eyes light up, Miss Ivana, when that popped up. So mm -hmm. everyone has seen this. I haven't seen oh. it in a long time. I do not like this movie. I'm so sorry. Oh, you don't like it? God. Ivana, why? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I went to Christian school and I they, they played this damn movie um, all the time. This one in Fern Gully. I love I love Fern Gully. What's the list of movies that they played that you just on your shit list now? Oh, um that one and then uh, uh Home Alone one through seven. Uh, uh See, that's your fault for going past two. That's a <laughs> I had to watch it. I didn't. I couldn't be like, "Yo, turn this shit off." Hey, this shit is not good. Yeah. Veggie Tales is forever on my shit list, nigga. Veggie Tales is a trigger. Is a literal trigger. If you hate me, you'll send me Veggie Tales. I, I do Veggie Tales. I haven't heard Veggie Tales in probably ten years. It's so, it's so Christian too. So it was oh, like we loved it. I stopped eating tomatoes because of Veggie Tales. I was. Like, <laughs> oh, I don't want to eat them. A whole year, I missed out on spaghetti, pizza. <laughs> uh, uh, not uh, a no uh, tomato. Not doing it. But nah, I, it, hey, look, well, I'm a man of my word. I was like, fuck it. <laughs> I had a problem with mascots when Teletubbies was out. I was just like, y'all just they cousins, and I'll sock all y'all out. Oh Lord. Fuck it. <laughs> But yeah, Sandlot. Sandlot was a very dope movie. Um, it was about a bunch of white people um, <laughs> in the segregated 50s playing some good old-fashioned baseball. Um, James Earl Jones is in it. He's a blind dude with an old, what they call a vicious-ass dog. I'm going to be honest, though. Mm -hmm. Very disappointed in the dog. I was very disappointed. Oh, I, I kind of was hoping that that dog was going to turn on white kids up. Yeah. And I was hoping it was going to be more vicious than what it oh, was. No. When I was younger watching it, maybe I thought it would, they were a little more vicious. As I've watched it older, yeah, I see how corny it kind of lame. <laughs> but it's a classic. At that time, right. Like, yeah. At the time, I don't know, the first around the first times that I've seen it, I remember thinking that I wouldn't want that big ass dog running after me. <laughs> yeah. Now, no. Yeah, but it really dropped the um, the respect I had for these kids after that. I was like, y'all really ain't shit. Y'all did all of this for this old ass dog. It did Be look old. Yeah, Beethoven's <laughs> father been sitting here fucking. <laughs> Sunbathing. 
Aww. And then like, some, some, which one was it that like got like that was like, oh yeah, the dude with the little glasses by the dog in the picture. He got with like the chick that was like 10 years older than him that was the lifeguard. The lifeguard because he uh, he's drowning. Mm. Then, I remember that when he tried to sneak make that kiss. Uh, spit up all in her face. I would have been pissed. I right. probably watched this movie. But, I he that but he got her though. That's the thing. He in the end, he got her. They got married, had kids. Uh, they did. Yeah, like it showed like right at the end and told him like everything that was happening and stuff. So like the dude that was doing the whole like narration became like a, a sports announcer, and then like the Hispanic dude became like a, a pro baseball player. Um, and then, like I said, the nerdy dude wound up marrying the chick from the uh, pool. Yeah, and like uh, they were saying, like what happened to the other guys? And one of them, I like, they said did like a startup company and stuff that's like relevant to us today. I don't know if it was like Microsoft or some shit, but yeah, they showed what happened to all of them. You know, typical white people shit get to go be whatever they want to be and uh, you know, have a lucky ending, right? Uh, no problems in life. Typical white people shit. Yeah. Yeah. Makes you ever wonder when we get there. Oh, God. We yeah. have. Anyway, moving on to no white people shit. Have y'all ever seen? Unfortunately. Yeah, face on love naked. <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's all we find. Them booty cheeks. Them cheeks this was out. Say what? This is a movie? Oh, yeah. Okay, never mind. Yes, this is a movie. I've seen this. Okay. That's one of the movies that just would be on. Yeah. Like on HBO or something. It's just on. This is that movie when it's like 2 in the morning, you're ready to go to sleep, but you need something to play. Couples are true. I don't even remember the plot of that movie. Basically, uh, Jason Bateman and uh, the, the Christian, whatever her name is, in the pink dress, they were about to get a divorce. They were thinking about getting a divorce. And so he wanted to take them on this uh, retreat that was for like couples, basically the like uh, couples retreat counseling type stuff. But it was hella expensive. So he was like, yo, but if we all go, it's hella cheap. Mm-hmm. And so of course, you know, like they had their reservations about it. So they wind up going. And so you see like how all of them got like their issues and stuff like that with their marriage and themselves and stuff. And then it just kind of leads you into how they decide to stay together and what happens to them. Again, mm-hmm. typical white people shit. Get to fix your problems on a tropical island. <laughs> pina coladas. Like I've been. <laughs> with Tell the umbrella, me. yeah. Yep, and just get to tell a counselor for three hundred dollars an hour why you sexually frustrated. Oh, that's not. Isn't this the one where Vince Vaughn bends his whole ass over? Yes, yes. They like to this day that still pops in my mind like at random times. I'm like, this is his whole dick and balls from the back. Ah, that's all. Forget Sarah Marshall. I always just randomly think about that when uh no, that's the one dropped his dick. Yeah, oh yeah, when he dropped oh, his towel. Yeah, yeah, that's and right. His dick and balls just out, and he bends over too. <laughs> yep. That's the one. Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Yeah, uh, I, and it I, happened I, like three or four times. To this day, my brother has not ball, finished that movie. You saw everything. Yep. You saw everything except uh, that. You know. Ugh, so much going on. Yep. <laughs> so much going on. <laughs> I've seen my movie, but I feel like I've blocked out that part because I don't like <laughs> from this. Girl, keep, 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 keep it like that. Talk about how to keep it like that. Good job. Because <laughs> once it's set there, you're just like, yep. It's I remember. in there. Uh-huh. Oh, no. And I can't uh, get what I'm I saying. probably have seen it, and my brain is like, we don't need that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't need that energy, sis. That's not what like, I want. Kind of it's memory. So, uh, so it's like, mm, selected. Come yeah. on. <coughs> it's one of them typical movies. So we're going to go ahead and move forward. I would be very impressed if y'all seen this movie. Yeah. Ooh. 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 Yeah, I'll be watching it. Can you play a trailer? I got the DVD it's been years. I saw bits and pieces of it, but I was a kid, though. Talk I'm trying to remember if it was 
I have the DVD. I don't too. know. If you play a trailer, like I might know it, it'll but you know, play it right time. Time. Well, then that means I gotta explain it. So oh, shit. Buckle up. Let me mute. It was bound to happen, right? It was coming at some point. It was coming. It was coming. I'm glad I took a good pick and it happened. All right. So let me tell y'all about She Hate Me. She Hate Me, as you can see, stars the dude from Avengers, uh, Falcon. Uh, so Falcon is, he works, I guess, in, uh, like, as an advertisement stock, whatever. He works for a lot of like big white people. And so basically they were doing some old fucked up ass shit uh, about this drug that they supposed to, people work for pharmaceuticals. So this new drug that was coming out actually was uh, some fucked up shit happened. And so the dude that he knew, knew that the shit was happening. And so he killed himself. And then he found out he killed himself. Why? Because they found out the drug was being bad. The company knew it and they still pushing it out. So basically, uh, the Falcon from Avengers decides he's going to whistleblow. So he decides to tell what happens. And so, of course, you know, the big white people, they're not going to let that happen. So they, like, basically set him up to see, like, inside of trading, all kind of stuff, basically to where they get him fired and where he got to go on, like, administrative leave and he under investigation. So pretty much it ties up everything he really saying until until he can really prove the stuff. So now he in the hot water. So um, not only that, his fiance, who was played by Carrie Washington, uh, the woman from Scandal, um, they were about to get married, but then she left him because she found out, well, she didn't find out like she had always knew she was gay. And so one day he was coming home and he had walked up the steps and he walked in the room and she was doing the scissors action and stuff. <laughs> this nigga said she was gay. <laughs> well, I mean, that's what happened. Like, that's like, it does the way you I, said it. They even changed the filter of the, of the movie when he seen it. I was like, well, there you have it. And so, uh, you know, she left and went to go, you know, do her thing. And so then she just magically pops back. And then she got uh, this Latin woman that's uh, from New York. The only thing I be remember is her name is Danny Ramirez. She I always remember her from Fat Albert, and I should remember her from other things. But that's where I go to when I think about her. But they they together. They they fucking. And you they even show like you know what it is. Um, but he comes to him because she trying to have a baby. And so they want to use his sperm. And then she goes through all the process of telling them how, like, some of these people, you know, like these donors may be lying about their stuff and everything like that. Him, he's successful. She says he's handsome. You know, all of this stuff. Like, he fits all the check boxes to procreate. And so he's like, you know what? I ain't trying to do it. But then she's like, yo, I'll pay you. And he needs some money right now. Ten bags. Probably even more. My number probably off. But he getting paid to get them pregnant. But then here comes the bright idea. Carrie Washington's like, yo, peep this. I got a lot of lesbian friends that want babies. And they would jump at the chance to have a candidate like you to get them pregnant. So any sensible man would probably say, be like, nah, not this guy. So he knocks up. No, oh, any sensible man would be like, yeah, sure, why not? But make sure you don't contact me later. No, nah, and it's a, nah, it's a clause. Like, he has to sign an agreement that says, like, I signed my rights away. I understand what I'm doing. I am literally here just to get you a on cash. That's your average person. And that's what it is. That's bad. That's so, would do that. <laughs> so it show you all, like, the different, like, different groups all they come in all different shapes and sizes and then he showed you know like how he got to handle them he even got to handle like you know oh, so he really does like oh yeah he knocking all of them back now i'm talking about even the i, I call them the M WNBA players i, I don't know what oh, okay. the it is but not the WNBA players you know what build that is i don't know what you call but that you know the ones like they don't take their all shirt women they just put it over there here and then they get the fucking them women are in this movie. I'm not making this up. That okay. In this movie. Okay. I'm not, okay. So and then so he continues to be doing that, 
And then throughout that, you know, he just start understanding, man, he trying to find love. He he don't know if he wanna be doing this. But he done knocked up, he done got about 24 kids now. And then eventually he gotta go to court, not over this, but on the stuff that was fucked up. Whole bunch of other confusing shit happened, but then come to find out he get with Carrie Washington and then her girlfriend. Now they doing uh, uh what's the thing with three of them together? What's what, what's that? Not a threesome when they in a relationship and it's polyamorous. Mm-hmm. They polyamorous in this thing because both of them got pregnant. So now they got two. They got kids together. And then they become a oh good old happy family. Jim Brown's in it. He had, he got the sugars and his legs don't work. But he give he is a good father that gives passionate speeches. People in the comments gonna know who Jim Brown is. That that that's so what happened? So why she hates me? What happened? What he do? What um, he do? so pretty much because people were getting mad about it because they found out about what was going on, and so the term she hate me come from comes from this NFL player that uh. I forget the story because I ain't that well with sports, but basically he changed his jersey name to uh, They Hate Me. And so then, uh, because Q-Tip is in this movie too, and so he flips that term to She Hate Me because he thinks that uh, his ex-girlfriend is really just trying to get get back at him and fuck with him for this, all of this shit. And so that's why it's like She Hates Me because she put him through the ringer. Now, Based off of what I said, Tokohama, would you watch this movie? Yes. And it's a Spike Lee joint. I don't know if that matters to you. Yeah, I saw that. That's cool. It is a Spike Lee. Um, I'd watch it. It sounds interesting. I was trying to figure out where the She Hate Me was coming from. So. Yeah. They explain it though in the movie, too. They have a whole explanation of it. So. I thought that was cool too, because I kept trying. So to... So in the end, what happens? Everybody just lives happily ever after. Yeah, basically he he winds up with Kerry Washington and those people who had those children are just marrying. Yeah, yeah, they good. Like like I said, he signed the contract like where he give their rights away. Because basically it it takes you through like most of their lives and what they trying to really go through. It's like yo, I just in this world they don't allow us to have kids. Like it's very limited in trying to adopt kids when you say you're a lesbian. So it's like yo, if I can skip all of that process and get what I need done. It's like, yo, let me add that. And that's all they really wanted. So they are off doing their thing, but they did take a picture with him and like surrounded by all of them. It was a lot. Was this based off a of real? I think this is based off a of real story. I could be wrong though. I could be wrong. You quote me on that. I, I have no idea. Let me feel like. I haven't seen that movie in a minute. I gotta rewatch that movie. I'm probably gonna rewatch that today. Because it is not held back. Yeah. All right, let's get into the next one. Let me know, have y'all seen this one? Oh, you know I've seen that. <laughs> Zombies, right? Nah. Uh-uh. Okay, so, uh, vampire. Uh-uh. <laughs> well, she's got the otherworldly, right? There's like some magic and shit that happens, right? I'm so confident in that answer. <laughs> It's some fighting. It's like some crazy yeah. fighting thing. Like superhero, stuff. like some fighting. Some, some something's happened. Yeah, yeah, I mean, something happened. Yeah, something happened that's not yeah, real world. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like, well, oh, I'll let him explain it. But, but yeah. what are, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I got it. Vampires. Yeah. It's one of, it's yeah. one of my favorite movies. It's Superheroes. Super- yeah. well, I think I've never seen this movie. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh, I've seen it. You clearly don't if you said vampires already. Okay, well, <laughs> there's something, something, it's been a minute, okay? Damn. But that means you own Tokahana's side. We're just trying to figure out what side you're on, to- uh, Ivana, that's all. I'm on both. She's like, I seen it, but I don't know what happened. So you on Tokahana's side. He has to fight somebody. Scott Pilgrim has to fight somebody at the end, yeah. and he likes the girl. Yeah, that's right. He yeah. do got to fight somebody at the end. I just don't remember what the supernatural thing, whatever the fuck it was. But they do be flying and, and fighting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Flying and fighting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what Roxy's saying. Roxy's giving it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roxy's like, yeah. Right. Yeah. And then she put it. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm high. laughs> right. That's what I'm saying. Right. Yes. Yes. Like I just said, no. Roxy, stop giving the details and let us say it. Oh, uh, <laughs> I was helping. Thanks, she knew. <laughs> I thought she yeah. knew parts. 
Anyway, you on the side with Tokyo Hunters. So, <laughs> Scott Pilgrim versus As I might have tried to piece together. <laughs> Don't mute you. This is a tale. That's fucking shit. That's how she's mean. She want to be <laughs> shit. Because we'll be just fucking and up plot okay, points. Smiling and do that ventriloquist shit. And she's just stuck. Anyway, sorry. I'm on Falcon Woods. I'm like, that's not even his name in the movie. We'll just be fucking it up and I'll be liking the movie. So I'll be getting mad. So I'll be muting myself. <laughs> and but he said, yeah, it's sold. Go ahead. It's <laughs> All right. So this, this is a story about a young man in a rock band that's in love. Well, gonna be in love. So he meets this, he meets this chick and he is head over heels for her. And so she wants to be with him too. There's only one thing though. He has to defeat her seven evil exes. All seven of them have extraordinary powers. Here's the part where you were trying to come in, Ivana. Magical powers, superhero <laughs> and comic book type powers. As she yeah. No vampires are in this movie. <laughs> and no zombies. <laughs> <Or> no. <laughs> okay. No, none of those. So Scott Pilgrim must go through the ringer of being able to fight through these exes just to be with her. So he gets to learn about what she was into, why she got with this person, and to see if it's really worth defeating all of these people. Um, there's an Asian girl in it named Knives who is the standout character of that entire movie, in my opinion. Not the best. Um, she was the, the girlfriend that shouldn't have been the girlfriend because she was just a little bit younger. But she got with the other band member. Now she's happy until she got all the blue socked out of her hair. <laughs> Real fucked up. Um, <laughs> vegans got super in your face. In this. <laughs> um, you got to fight. Scott Pilgrim got to fight Superman in this. Um, and, and it got something to do with milk. Uh, there's another dude with like glasses. They got a sword that's on like a little uh, mountaintop in an uh, arcade like setting, and they got a fight. It's a whole bunch of shit going on. Um, I would suggest to definitely be high when you see this. It okay. is it is a great uh, film if you are a 16 year old teenager with hair that's right here. <laughs> A little dying. The the Yay! Bang. This is this is your setting. This is this is the movie for you. If you high as fuck and just want to laugh and go, what the fuck is this? This is the movie for you. Yeah. Okay. I will say that if you're gonna watch this movie, don't don't watch it with people that don't like weird movies. Because the first time I saw this movie. Like, it was like right after it came, it was in Redbox. Ooh, that's a long time ago. Like right after when it first came in Redbox, I was watching it with one of my hoes and we was watching with my friends, but they don't like, <laughs> they don't like weird movies like that. So like, I didn't think I liked the movie because they just was talking shit about it. Then I went back and rewatched it by myself. I'm like, this is a good ass movie. Fuck y'all. Yeah. Y'all I watch it with your drug dealer. Yeah, yeah no, nah, watch okay. it. Watch it by yourself high. It's really funny. It is. So, based off of what I've said, uh, I'm going to start with Ivana because Tokahana's look like she's still processing. <laughs> would you watch this film? Yes, I would. <laughs> Vampires. Yeah. I think that was explained very well. I'd definitely watch it. Yes. <laughs> Tokahana's. Mm. Well, would you watch <laughs> mm. Mm. Um, <laughs> I'd watch it. I don't think I'd get through the whole thing if I have to be like, you know, like a, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, um, yeah, I'd watch it. I'd turn it on. <laughs> I'm like, if it can keep my um, attention span, but, you know. I'll take the movies have been made off of lists. <laughs> I'll take the yeah. All right, then. Hey, that is a two for two for me. Hey. Better at this. All right, and this is gonna be our last film. Have any of you seen Cabin in the Woods? Yes. Uh -oh. You even gotta ask me. It's a yes off top. When I tell you I just watched that shit not too long ago. Yes. Uh -oh. I don't. 
I have nightmares, so I don't be watching scary stuff. And if I read the synopsis and I get scared, I don't watch Doctor, it. Doctor, you don't watch scary <laughs> movies? I have, like, I legit have nightmares. Okay. Can I tell y'all the oh, story? No. Oh, my God. We have to watch a scary That's- movie together. No, okay, let me tell you what happened, and then you won't want to watch it with me. I have two separate but like stories. horror or thriller, because it's way. Way. Okay, I went to a haunted house, right? And they're like, oh, it's not that bad. It, uh, out here, uh, the Acres one, Will, you know what I'm talking about? The haunted yeah. Acres thing? I got and kicked out of there. I threw up. Like, I was so scared. I was running through the house. I got scared. I pushed a pregnant in woman. Houston? Yeah, in Houston. It's the Acres one. Oh. It's in the woods. I pushed a pregnant woman and a kid because I was trying to get out, and then I got oh, out. We got some shit like this in, out in Red Oak. It's crazy. No, I'm good. And then I went to see what's that Texas Chainsaw Massacre? We got Reindeer Manor. Y'all heard of Reindeer Manor? Yeah. I, seen, I seen Texas, but it didn't. Yes, Will, you heard of Reindeer Manor? I cried. And I don't I cried. Movies, but I watched that. It wasn't that. Yeah. I cried after in the car. I got kicked out of a uh, haunted house for uh, beating up one of the employees. You're not supposed to do that. What's <laughs> wrong with you? Why are you so ghetto? Uh, <laughs> say what? Why are you so ghetto? You can't do that. Nah, I was fucking right up too close with that goddamn chainsaw. I was like, yo, no. No. Yo, I told them I didn't want to go in there in the first place. They was like, yo, quit being scared. I said, yo, I'm not scary. I'm just like, yo, something run up on right. me. I can't promise nothing. Dude, Will, why are you so get up? And so he was walking up and like, I didn't there, like he came out of this like little trap door like you can't really see because like where the light is, it's super dark, but that's kind of like where they creep out and yeah. go through the whole shit. And so mm-hmm. Yeah, I can't, uh-uh. Yeah, and I'm like, that don't sound like But a- I know they can't touch me. Yeah, they I've can't. Heard it one time, that and I've heard that too, but that's the only thing that keeps me calm is I know that they cannot legally chop me up right now. So well, I just don't like it. it. Thing. I don't trust white people enough like that. <laughs> I don't believe yeah. it. Because it's like, what, what if one dude. I'm going to be like, you got this. They job expect you to run. run. Nah, because what, what if this one employee come in uh, one day? After he didn't got like then saw his wife getting butt fucked by this black dude named uh Devontae and he was gonna take it out on everybody no, at the um, haunted house. I'm done. And he just started chopping us up. And it also has to do with the and fact why did you even go? <laughs> you why did you go going to work? work? <laughs> that was that was the second time I went after the first time no, I decided to never uh, go after that whole dead body experience in Beaumont. Excuse me? Excuse uh, me? Excuse me? <laughs> we went to a haunted house and so like we went into this room and like it's a room that's kind of like a little conference looking room that it was set up but the lights flicker and stuff. And so it was like just like this body that was hanging. Mm-mm. And so we went in the haunted house? Yeah, in the haunted house. So we just thought it was like, oh. like everybody thinking it's a prop. A dude really hung himself. Oh no. no. Yeah. All that yeah, like we walked like we like when you walk in the or it was already like yeah like nobody knew like a lot of people didn't know till the room started stinking and then like people like the folks went in there and they started looking at it, and then they told everybody we had to leave like they got on the line speakers like we need everybody to, uh to exit the Ooh, haunted house. Shit. what place was this where was this at this was was a, me up. Like a long time ago this is like what's a- it called Shit, the fuck if I know I was in middle school. This oh, time. that's weird. Uh, and you were in middle school? I was in oh, the eighth man. grade. I was looking, I was like, dang, this shit look real. So that's and crazy. Was like, and it was when like, did you find out when you were still there or when you went home? You yeah, heard it. They told us to come out, and you know, like, this is again, we're in middle school, so this, like, your mom ain't finna sit there and wait on you. Let me know what time to come pick you up, and that's when we come pick you up. So we still had like an hour before my mom was supposed to come pick us up. So we were sitting out there waiting to like for them to tell us what happened. It was like, yo, what happened? It was like, yo, they, they found a dead body in here. Damn. Yeah, it was like in the room where they had the thing hanging. I was like, man, I touched that dude. Oh my God. You touched it? Yeah, because I was like, because I walked in and I looked and I was oh, like, oh no. Dad, I look real. God, I put a fucking in there and that shit is disgusting. Listen, listen y'all. Oh. I, I don't. That's why when your parents tell you don't be touching shit. Don't be touching everything. Well, that's why I'm not a lot of funerals no more. I got kicked out of my uncle's funeral because we was up there. Well, what are you doing? Touching. I know you didn't touch your uncle, Will. I did. I was a kid and I was just like. <laughs> I know you didn't touch your uncle. Wake up. Wake On up. On his forehead? 
And no, nah, no, nah, just on the shoulder. I wasn't that dumb. Bad. Will was bad. That I explains so bad. much. He, you, Will, you was that kid where your mom had to tell you don't touch nothing when we go in here. No, because here's the thing. Here was my <laughs> he still touched everything. Yeah. <laughs> my, because here was my logic. And I just didn't like that my logic was never like accounted for. I was like, yo, now if he woke up, then what would y'all have to say? Oh my God. That was my logic, but I was like, no one thought to do this. Again, I'm a kid, so I'm just like, no one thought to just go. Wait. Uh, what's a kid? How old were you? Hold on. <laughs> no judgment or nothing, but you know. I man, I would say I was about when did he when did he die? I think I was like ten or eleven. Mm. Oh, you was old enough to know. I that. knew it. That's why yeah. I was like, hold on, this is not that a seven. Is. This is Look, like a, a ten. Yeah. I've seen a lot of things in my life. Okay, I've I've seen that happen. I've seen when Jesus came back and no and nobody believed that that was Jesus, and I what? still have an argument that that may have been Jesus. Cool. I was in my I went to my grandpa's <laughs> church, and you know <laughs> when the pastor come down, maybe like they be talking to people, and they like, yo, do you want to uh say something about you know like how the Lord has blessed you and stuff like that, your name, and then just you know like how the Lord make you feel. Now something told me to do two rows up. I was like, I don't know why. I need to stay focused on this. So I put it, I put my little doodles down I was doing in the Bible and mm. just closed it and I was waiting. And so the pastor walked up to him and he was like, young man, what is your name? And he simply said with all his heart, my name is Jesus, motherfucker. A what? <laughs> well. Now look, this is not that, look, <laughs> this, that, at this point, this, <laughs> this, this, this is on the pastor. Because he didn't have to ask this. And he asked him, what did you say? He didn't have to ask him that. Everyone heard what the fuck he said. But he didn't have to ask him again. He said, my name is Jesus, motherfucker. I can't. And so then they decided. You're like, that's Jesus. That, they, there you go. They decided to have the ushers come and escort him out. And he continued to have that saying till they put him out. And then I turned to my mom. I was like, yo. I think that's well, what if that was Jesus, though? <laughs> y'all just turned him away. <laughs> Why did y'all kick him out? Y'all like, kicked out I Jesus. Like, I was like, y'all ain't got your house in order over here. I see. And y'all be talking about <laughs> Now y'all don't got your house in order. Y'all need to get your house in order. I got a whooping for that just because I said you that. You need one. My grandpa was like, you, you, you need, uh, this is so you don't go to hell. I was like, <laughs> It ain't me I got to worry about going to hell. It's y'all. Y'all the one kicked him out. I, I kicked I, Jesus out. He hear everything. He heard what I just said. I was like, yo, if, if that's him, that was wrong. I can't. Y'all should have heard him out. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, what are we talking about? <laughs> oh, Kevin. Nah, I ain't. Uh-uh. <laughs> oh, Bahamas, you have not seen the season, right? I've seen it. I feel like I've seen it. Okay. I don't like scary movies, but I have seen some, and I, I love scary movies. Listen, y'all think this is scary, but it is actually not. This is by far, I feel like, one of the funniest. Films. I like thriller. Horror is a little scary. It ain't horror. It ain't it's horror. It's, it's hilarious. It's all hilarious. Cause you crazy. That's why it, you can tell. Oh, you. It's definitely a dark comedy. It is. Oh. It is because it has such a twist to it. You be like. Did not see that coming. I did not see that, and it really like continues to like not make you scared whatsoever. You just like okay. cartoons be scaring me, so like I would get scared. I'd be getting scared. Oh, I'd, be ter- I'd be terrified. I'd did be you ter- watch Courage the Cowardly Dog? I would be scared. Like I just got. I tried to rewatch it the other day, and I was watching the bitch in the slab, and I had nightmares. I had I mean, nightmares. Did- the niggas got some old frightening ass creatures on there. The one you remember the dude that was like very naughty. He kept trying to shave him. That motherfucker give me nightmares. You yeah. know exactly. What, you know what I'm talking about? That shit's creepy. I don't. I, I don't. I don't like creepy, scary. Somebody jumping. I don't like seeing people get killed. I'll be. I'll be getting scared. This 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 had one of the greatest deaths of all time. Thanks to Thor. Oh my Four? god. When you see Thor. Thor is in this? Okay, wait, yeah. you got me now. There you go, yeah, Thor is in this. <laughs> yeah. No, I think the best death was when that guy, oh, I can't tell you. Oh, it's, it's when they ate that guy. It's such a no, dope no. Yeah. 
I know you talk about. It. Yeah. And they also have the coffee bomb, which is what? amazing. This dude had a, a a fucking coffee cup. He was drinking the coffee, and then he was just like, "Yo, I'm finna smoke some weed." He did like two little maneuvers that turned the shit into a whole bomb. Yeah. What? I was like, I don't drink coffee, but I need that. Ooh. Yeah, and I do. I like. Okay, okay, you have me at Thor. You're keeping me at coffee. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. It is a cabin and it's in the woods. It get a little bit. It get a little bit creepy. But here's the thing: yeah. if you listen to what's happening, you're gonna understand the story. And then when the flip happens, you're gonna be like, "This was dope." It is the old. It's like a stoner made this horror movie. Oh, okay, okay. That's what this is. Mm-hmm. Adult a stoner film movie. major. Yeah, definitely made this. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We'll see. You, 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 I'm coming around. That's all I got. I can't give any more like real detail. Oh, like, it'll ruin it. Yeah, but based off of what we've told you, this would be like the light pitch to try to get you in. Would you watch this film? Still, probably no. Just because, <laughs> like, it, like I if I watched it, oh, it me too. because somebody else was asking me to watch it. Like, I wouldn't put it in, but if, like, one of my hoes was like, hey, let's watch this, I'll watch it. I'm going to stop calling. I don't even. No, I don't please have... don't stop. Please don't stop. I don't it even have no so hoes. funny. I don't even have no hoes no more. It's just so <laughs> fucking funny. Did they walk away? No, they both had to pee. Oh. <laughs> Everybody just still hot from the last thing. But, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't dry watch this. But, like I said, if somebody was like, hey, let's watch this movie. I'll watch it. That's how I watched uh you seen Green Inferno? No. Man, don't watch that. I don't <laughs> like it don't sound like it, something I'd want to watch. It's it's a horror movie. It's like a cannibal horror movie. Like it's still I still be thinking about it and it gives me nightmares. I'm I'm a a, a cover type of person. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like if it looks good, you'll check it out. Yeah, like if oh, the cover look by its cover type. It will be like I'm judging the shit out this this cover. Because some, some covers you can judge, like some stuff you be like, I know for a fact this shit ain't gonna be good, like just off the cover alone. And then some covers you be like, all right, it ain't as interesting, but it do look like it might be. It interesting. Sounds like it. Watch it. Yeah. Like that's some shit. Like you don't need to watch. Like the Human Centipede, I never need to see that ever again in life. Ever. Okay, I can't hear Will. I don't hear Will. Aha. Will you talking? Yo, can you hear me? Oh, there we go. Yeah, I don't know what that was. Okay. This is unstable internet in California, y'all. Yeah, so it's everybody what is it just because of the, the fires and shit? Too many people on it. That's why uh, okay. Too many people like off and stuff. So everybody's now using their own internet. Gotcha. And everybody got a podcast and shit right now. <laughs> everybody got everybody on Twitch. Yeah. My friend was like, watch my real estate podcast. I'm like, bitch, I ain't I am poor. No. I don't see that shit. <laughs> Do you no, want to know how to save a money? Check out our podcast. Right. But y'all should definitely get Twitches. Y'all would get get Twitch. I downloaded it. I don't know really too much how to use it. Oh, I've watched some of your stuff, well, but I don't. Yeah, the only I still only have to learn it. I've watched is literally yours and Roxy's. That's it. Yeah. You, know, you know we have a a person that can teach y'all this. Yeah. Who? Kadeem. Cleo's brother, Kadeem. Huh? Cleo's brother, Kadeem. Did you just use the tail to talk? <laughs> yeah, I was like, no. I was just like, huh? <laughs> no. Yeah, Kadeem will Kadeem will help you with shit. I did not know they brothers. That's so funny. He's so nice. Aww. When you see both of them, you're going to be pissed as hell. Like, oh, yeah, y'all related. They really? look exactly alike. Exactly alike. And their sister. They all look it's like... Me and my son, we look alike. <laughs> so, yeah, that's uh, honest about this Twitch. You was just... <laughs> uh, that did not look alike. You need a bang. <laughs> Yeah. I need a bay yang. <laughs> you do got a bay yang. He do got a bay. Yes, he do. He like, oh, he do. He do got a front bay yang. Like, oh, yeah. Quad. He is out here. <laughs> <One cut. laughs> 
Probane right there. Yeah. <laughs> a what? Probane. That's what he got. Yeah. He's... Turn it to the side again. <laughs> Turn it to the side. Here. Yeah, that's when you can really see that. Wow. <laughs> 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 Bitch, I know that you was a You're killing it. Ah. Uh, <laughs> why am I so tickled? <laughs> oh, I am tickled. I know. Boy, but no, I wouldn't watch this. What does it count? Oh, did I say? I'm high. I'm sorry. No, I would not unless somebody else was watching it. There we go. About <sighs> We can watch it together, Roxy. <laughs> like if I was at Ivana's house and she was like, "Let's watch it," then I'll watch it. But if it was, I would, <laughs> okay. I think I think you would be okay if you watched it with Ivana. Yeah, I have to watch it with somebody in the daytime. Yes, with the lights. Uh, uh, yeah. 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 Also, so yeah, hard, you don't like scary movies either. No, but I <laughs> like thriller. I just don't really like horror shit. Uh, okay. I don't really like scary movies, but, but I'll sit through it. Mm-hmm. I, that doesn't yeah. mean I haven't seen any. I've seen it. some. Mm-hmm. Some of them don't affect me. It's all a mindset. It so is. That's too. Yeah. How I'm doing that day. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Uh, I am lit. Word. But if oh, I'm I by myself and it's like nighttime, I'm good. I would not watch one at my leisure. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's understandable. That's understandable. Well, ladies, thank you for joining me on Pharaoh's Vault. Yay. Yay. This was super cool. Appreciate yeah, it. I, I like this. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all know we can't call them pets no more? What? What are they? Family? Dogs and like pets, pets is a, now a derogatory term. That's what uh Peter's trying to or whatever that fucking activist. Oh is. well, I do call him my oh, son. Is this is my son, Dallas. Hello. I'm just letting y'all know this now. The day I call a dog my child, sock me the fuck out. No, oh, no. Uh, this I'm is my, my child because I don't have kids and I don't want kids. But I have <laughs> sock me the hell out. We'll say slide him. Slide me. Mine Johnson tried that shit. She was like, You're not going to say hey to your cousin? <laughs> yes, yeah, see. What was, it? what was it? It was a cat named Queen Sheba. <laughs> Queen yes. Sheba? Yes. I love it. That was yes. good. Um, say hi to Queen Sheba. I wasn't as chill as I am now back as a child. Uh, I could tell what your bad ass. I held nothing back. So when she told me that, she was like, you're not going to give your cousin a kiss? I said, bitch, show me the video where that came out your vagina and I will kiss that cat. You're a horrible <laughs> no, um, bad kid. No, no, no. Now listen. You need a work bitch. No, hold on. In my, in my defense, and this will make everything a lot. Yo, y'all don't hear me. You said bitch. <laughs> yeah, no, I was mad because she kept doing it. Like she kept bringing the car, and I had a bad. Yeah. But I don't. I didn't like cats at that time. Like I didn't like being in a room with cats. Bad I was ass. To one when I was little, and it jumped off of the wire, and it did literally just bladed me right here. Oh yeah. shit! Ever since then, I was like, man, fuck cats. Fuck. <laughs> cats are cats are assholes. Yep, I was like, are. Oh wow, that's horrible. I only had one cat ever in my life as a pet, and he technically wasn't my pet. He was like an apartment cat called OG Garfield. <laughs> he was like laying one day, like in the middle of the walkway, and like this lady came and her big ass dog, like the one from the sandlot, and he was barking. <laughs> and literally, OG Garfield was just like, <laughs> and they went around this motherfucker. I was like, you got my respect, bro. <laughs> you are cat now, so we started feeding it after that. Aww. I have to be giving a fuck about dogs. They do not. My dog got slapped by a cat the other day. They all, dogs stay getting bitch slapped by cats. Yeah. Like, get out, get out that cat's face, please. I'm trying to yeah. walk you. Yeah. You know what I it's up. Plus, y'all call us dogs, so it look horrible when a dog sock a cat, just like when a dude hit a chick. How is that the logic? You ever see a dog suck a cat? It look horrible. You be like, oh, that's fucked yeah. up. You didn't even have to do that little cat like that. Suck it, though. They slow motion. So. They do. They be like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and the cat is like, oh. <laughs> cats be like, 
Get your ass back, like. That's what I've learned. I've learned that when I saw that. I was like, that's what this is. Oh, like. shit. I'm tickled. But yeah, I only, call, I only called her a bitch because they told me I wasn't a part of their family when I was a kid. So. What kind of? Oh, you need a hug. I'm going to hug yeah. you. They After had the all order. this coming. They had all that coming. Wow. We'll be going through it. I'm not For calling real? animal my relative. When you not even calling me your relative. Right. Okay, I would have called her a yeah. bitch too. All right, yeah. <laughs> well, this child, let's talk about my eight birthdays you didn't miss so far. Oh, shit. And me. I hope you watching. Is she still alive? Oh, yeah, she on Facebook. She be trying to wish me happy. Oh, uh-uh, now she on Facebook. Yeah. They we don't know what you did. Bad <laughs> word. Right. word. I'm not going to oh, say no, 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 believe me. I'm, I'm very thankful for all of them because they definitely taught me that. You know what? You do not have to be blood to be family. That is true. Oh, man. We be creating our family out here. Yep. I'm learning so much more about a chosen family and what that looks like and how to like cultivate that. Man, it's fire. <laughs> yeah. I was, so you, um, you I have no problem with them not meeting, my kids not meeting anyone but their grandparents and their great-grandparents. Out of that, I'm like, they don't have to meet none of y'all. Oh, they, should, they do not have to know y'all exist. The rest of these other people, they will swear are aunt, uncles and cousins. Yeah, fuck them. I'm with it. With are they blood related? It don't matter. When I die, they gonna they got you covered. Don't they worry. gonna be there, baby. Be there. Shit. <laughs> me too. <laughs> I'm like, ooh, let me take a nap. Yeah. So uh, we already ended. This was just us. Oh. <laughs> I bet yeah, we've been signed off, but oh wow, wow. <laughs> I'm lying as shit. Recording. Huh? It's still recording. Yeah, this is just great content. Oh, we'll see if you're not off. So. You ain't ended. You wasn't like that's been Pharaoh's vault. I am the anomaly. Right, Pharaoh. I'm waiting for the full like ending. Wait, Wait can I do? Know, it? I already did that. It's literally as soon as I'm like, all right, y'all, I'm finna go. That's it. Wait, let me. I want to be. <clears throat> All right, y'all. Uh, that is it for Pharaoh's Vault. I have been the Anomaly Will Pharaoh. Check out all of my content. I am on twitch.tv slash Will Pharaoh. Uh, the arcade tokens we stream several times a week, so go ahead and check that out. I will be playing some Avengers this evening, so go ahead and come through that. That's like when someone leaves a voicemail for something. <laughs> it was so fast. Oh. <laughs> Did I do it right? I caught it right before the tone. <laughs> Boom! Yes! <laughs> right on cue. Uh, that was great. That I was did it. Yay! I won it. You really cradling that dog. She <laughs> loves it. Shit. He just like. <laughs> Why you keep calling? He's just like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's like ESA. So we. You know, we cuddle. Oh. Uh, he really chilling. I look when dogs paws be like that. That mean they is like they're good. Oh, he be in heaven with me. <laughs> <laughs> he gonna lay his head down in a minute. Yeah, he's so cool. that that's her son for real. Will you gotta for real? This is my child. I'm a mother. <laughs> he ain't gonna talking to me. looking at me like that. That's how she cradling his head, y'all. That is her child. She- uh, I get. I guess it's because I didn't grow up with dogs in the house. We had outside dogs. Oh man! No, I did too. He. This is I my first too. outside dog, and he's small too, and he's fresh. He came from the groomers, so I'm like all over him. He's super clean too. So I'm like, oh. <laughs> he like cover his ears so she's not talking in it. Like that's her kid. <laughs> oh, he's, he's gonna take a nap right here on my shoulder. <laughs> he's like not moving either. He's, he's not. not. He, he ain't he's wiggling. Clean. He not barking. He's chilling. He ain't bark one. Chilling. He's like, who are these? Who are these people? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> He's giving us the side eye. Did you see my line? Y'all talking about, y'all talk about me? Like, yo, wrap it up. Wrap it up. <laughs> this is my nap time. Y'all cutting in right now. Yes. This is, this is mommy and me time. Yes. By the second, I need this hair. This hair. <laughs> yeah. Shame on uh, me this much. Y'all need me. I am sickled. I know, right? Are y'all all, are y'all got baby pets y'all call children? No. Well, I don't my, call my pet my child, but. What do you call- have, Toke? You have a dog? No. I have yeah. a cat. 
A cat? Okay. Okay. I guess. We got a dog and Maya calls the dog her sister, so I have to call it my child. It sleeps with her and stuff. Isn't it's so weird and nasty, but whatever. I'm like, hey, that's you. That you just can't don't bring that shit in my room, so the dog can't get yeah, in my I bed. Don't, Dallas, he doesn't sleep shit. under the covers with me though. He sleeps like on the far end, on top of the, you know. Maya be sleeping with that big ass dog. It be under the blanket, curled up. I'm oh, like, oh no. But you're quiet and y'all leaving me alone. So. I know you are. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> I know you are. So that dog don't sleep with you? Hold on one second, y'all. Yeah, I thought you what you gonna do. I'm gonna move. My move. Stop playing with me. Watch and know her daughter. Huh? Huh? My move. Stop acting like you know. Oh, you Facetiming with your ashy ass cousin? Move, Jasmine. Hello. I'm talking about me though. Remember that. Not you. That. Your cousin before you get slid. What you do? Shut up, Jasmine. You don't do shit neither. Okay, anyway, hey. <laughs> I love it. I'm having a great time. Oh, yeah, that's how I talk. <laughs> Jasmine's like, yeah, get your mama. <laughs> I want uh -uh. <laughs> both of y'all asses. Yo. Like, I'll sock you out too, shit. Jasmine, no, I will Both of y'all. I'll line y'all up. <laughs> nah, I don't. <laughs> you don't really, I don't really be having to. <laughs> Just take shit away. It's so much. Roxy, easy. I cannot picture you fighting. Did you used to fight in high school and shit? Oh, Stop. Because I, I, I never was. I would not want to. Fight. Will. What? What? Stop it. I would not want to fight. I can't hear you, Will. He was beating up every fucking. Day. Oh, okay. But it was provoked though. I would never just try to fight people. I was bullied, and so people yeah. were trying to bully me. So that's when I would fight people. And then when I got older, I would be I would be in the club fighting sometimes, but that's just because who she ghetto. That, People... that, that, there's a lot of things I said you with, but bullying. Yeah. I was bullied. They would now be talking. You being the bully. No, okay. They would be talking shit about me. I tenth grade Spanish. Were, were was... they talking shit about you, or were you like, yo, these niggas talking shit about me? Them out. No, they would. Okay, it was one time in Spanish class. I when, this is the shit that people used to do. They were behind me because I used to be real quiet. I was a quiet theater kid. I was in gospel choir, all that shit. Oh, and same. They were behind me, and they were like, "Yeah, she." Uh, it was this dude and this bisexual chick, and they were like, "Yeah, she she got them cute eyes and them titties, but that's it." And the dude was like, "She need to get them eyes to somebody else with her ugly ass," and they was talking about me. Yes, they said she did it. Like people used to do shit like that to me. Like uh, middle school, they were like, "Oh, you ugly. You need to kill yourself." It's like so that's the shit. Oh no! Nah. Like, the first time I never used to say anything, but then like I'll be like, "Nah," and that's when I started fighting people, and that's when people started leaving me alone. Well, I just started going crazy, and I'm like, "I'll kill you," and then hit them with shit or punch them or like sneak up on them. I I I used to do. I did do creepy shit. I would sneak up on people when they by themselves. Like, hey, that shit you was talking, I heard that shit. Bitch, I'm about to hop on your bus after school and we I'm gonna beat your ass in front of your own house. Like I would do shit like that, like creepy, creepy shit. Like I'm a ride, I know where you live. Let's get on this bus. I fuck with that though. Yeah, like <laughs> I'm ride ride to your house and let's let's go. What? I'm an ugly fat oh. bitch, right? But I'm an ugly fat bitch. So that's the shit. But I was quiet, so people they just like, ah, she crazy. She'll just walk up on you in the hallway. But I'm like, y'all was just <laughs> I was well, I don't like that face. But no, I don't I don't wow. like I don't like fighting because there's just so many other ways to get shit handled, you know. Now. But I will still be somebody ass if need be. But I don't want to. We can hug wow. it out. I don't want to. I feel like you and I would get along though. If we went to high school together, I feel like we'd get along. Yeah, because you like nerdy shit. Like and I the thing like yeah. I was, <laughs> Oh, but, oh, it's the nerdy shit that y'all would have got along with. That's and the, Hell yeah! Now y'all both was out here socking bitches out nice. <laughs> no, y'all was the chick scared that they were scared to go to by the fucking mall. They like, man, don't pass by. No, I was I was the ugly person. Like, I'll be in the mall. This legit happened. I'm telling y'all all my bully stories. 
I was walking and I would be the person that dudes be like, hey, my partner want to talk to you and then run away laughing. Oh, that's so yeah, fucking like, mean. Yeah, like they would like they would be doing shit like that to me. And I would just be like, motherfuck you, bitch. Just leave me. So it took me a long time to even realize like people were attracted to me. Like mm-hmm. when I got older dudes be trying to talk to me, like, oh you so fine. I'm like, yeah, right. Go laugh with your friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Go laugh with your friends about it. <laughs> Oh, wow. wow. Yeah. Ah! Who oh, shit? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. What's this? <laughs> That's the second time she did that shit. I'm too high for this. All we seen was feet Ooh, in the air. Still here. I'm wearing my light. All I seen was feet go in the air. Is she okay? Is the dog okay? Is the phone okay? <laughs> like, where is she coming back? Oh, I'm, I am tickled. Oh, my eyes hurt. My stomach hurt. This has been hilarious. This has been hilarious. Uh, are we, are we ended? <laughs> hey, you got, been, oh, we, <laughs> hey, we were, were so concerned. Bruh. Hey. I need to get it together for y'all think I, I'm dropping my dog. Y'all could, <laughs> that's what I was like. It's literally <laughs> moving my leg and then my whole shit just fall back. And I'm like, yeah. damn it. Where's the baby? Is he okay? Yeah, he's 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 huh? Maya's children at the door. Oh no. Don't scare them away. It's too much. I, right. girl. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just be tired. I'm just yeah. Okay. Children at the door. But I know. <laughs> 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 Why you made me sound like Cruella the Bill? Right. That's children. That was great. There's children at the door. Oh. All you needed was a long ass pipe with the cigarette. Yes. Yeah. What you doing? Help her clean that room. Her dog look all excited. I'm a mean mama. I'm so nice to me. They gonna help her clean her room. Like I'll be like, if you over here, you gonna help. That's so sweet. But I'm gonna take a nap, you guys. <laughs> that dog is cracking me up. Andy. Who is it? Ooh, some of niggas is playing at your door. There is more children at the door. It's more children. Hell no, no. children of the corn. I think it's about Let's that time. Sit over there. Bye, bye. you guys. Bye. I'm gonna, you wanna sleep? Bye. bye. Love y'all. Get to-